Hi, thanks so much for taking some time to uh, to chat today. Um, right, I guess you. we'll get right into it. Yeah. So yeah, it's my pleasure. I'm curious, what about the conjunction of the spheres made this story that you're telling in Blood Origin something that you guys wanted to do as a full-blown like spin-off limited series, as opposed to, you know, the animated styles of like Nightmare of the Wolf? What, mm -hmm. what was it about this story? Because it's the linchpin of what happened to the continent and the elves that we meet in the book when they're all, almost destroyed and wiped out and they're pre-agrarian and uh, have lost their stories and everything because the humans have basically colonized them. And the conjunction of spheres was that moment. And how did it happen? How did the great elven civilization collapse to such a level? That was wide open, you know, and it's touched on in the books, but very little. So. We got to fill out all of that, which was just manna from heaven, you know, as a writer. It was just so much fun. One thing I wanted to ask, there were some reports a while back about how the show had been kind of retooled from six episodes down yeah. to four. Um, so I'm curious, like, what was that process like for you process. guys? And was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was cool because when, when we started this, the only thing we knew really was it was going to be a close-ended series that had to work for fans of the books, the games, people who watched the TV show or all three, people who didn't know it, it had to be a self-contained story. And as such, there was no rules. You could, like, how long do you want to make an episode? doesn't matter. How many episodes do you want? doesn't matter. So basically, we shot everything we wanted to shoot, and then we got into the editing room and just made the best sort of version of two movies put together that we could make that was not too long, not too short, that just felt perpetually moving forward. So you blink and it's over. That's what we wanted. You, you know, you binge it and it's a self, like a Sapkowski story, one of these little mini stories yeah. that he does so well in the books. That definitely comes through, I think, that idea of this as like a self-contained short adventure. Yeah. Was Mini Driver's character part of the original conceit? Was that something that was added during the rework? kind of organic because we came up with you know Yaskir wasn't in there originally but you know Lauren had the great idea of bringing in Yaskir as this and it's such an obvious thing when, when you see it you know but at the time it wasn't there and then it yeah. was like oh this is great but then you know to make it a make him a reliable narrator and bring in someone else I love the idea of you know a creature that moves through time collecting stories and bringing them back to life a shanaki um so she was perfect for it so and she was a fan of the witcher so she said yes and it was great so we're happy awesome i think we're about out of time but thank you so much for for the time today and all your hard work on the show and uh, thank best you. of luck with the launch next month <laughs>